kitties and friends, I am back again with another video. And for today's video, I will share with you some tips and cool features of the MU Origin 3 Asia PC version. I know some of you waited for this, and it's finally here. Nice! At first, I was hesitant to try the PC version, but I was glad that I did. So before I start, I would like to inform you and share with you guys my current status. I have received a lot of messages regarding about asking for accounts and class transfer cards. So to be clear about this, I am not part or a member of the MU team. Sadly, I cannot grant or give you all those things since I am just an ordinary player. I am also not receiving any gifts or anything like that from them. In fact, if you see my account, I don't have any luxurious mounts or anything fancy. And if you are curious about how much accumulated GD I have, so far I only have 77k GD in this account. I'm just so thankful that I have friends from the MU team who always answer my questions. I'm also grateful to them for enlightening me on things about which I have doubts and teaching me things I haven't learned yet. I would like to give a shout out to one of the MU Origin 3 admins. Shout out to Red of MU Origin 3 Asia. Despite the fact that he clearly indicated here that no DM, he still responded to all of my messages and queries. Also, aside from Red, I would like to give shoutouts to our Discord moderators, Mod Eman, Mod QQ, and Mod Shiva for always being helpful. If you need technical support about the game, they are the right people to talk to. I would also like to give a shout out to our very active members here on Discord who are constantly helping newbies learn about the game. Shout out to Amrak, Boon, Gank Us, and lastly the Golden Whale of MU3, Zeldris. Feel free to message here your questions at general chat, but make sure to use English only as it is the server rules and policy. I will put the link of the Discord channel in the description below. Now going back to the main topic. Last Monday, the PC version of MU Origin 3 Asia was released. It is still in beta, but you can now log in and play in this version. If you are used to playing using emulators, I highly suggest that you guys download and try the PC version. It is way smoother and you can put the graphics in real high definition. Aside from that, you can now see the skill indicator which was missing on emulators. This is really great and can help us aim our skills more accurately. Now, aside from the smooth gameplay, high definition graphics and skill indicator, there's one feature in the PC version that can solve the nerf on Paladins and transformation skills from the last class balance patch. If you didn't know, before Rune Mage was released, all transformation skills including the Soul Knight skill of the Paladin can activate the companion skills during transformation. This is really needed in order to prolong and not be disabled during the transformation. But now, this feature has been removed. When you use your Demon Soul or any transformation skill, the companion skill button is gone. But you don't have to worry about this one. There are two ways you can use companion skills while you are in a transformation state. First is by swapping our companions. By swapping companions, you will be able to see the companion skill. This is quite tricky though, since it will just pop up for a second and if you don't click the companion skill, it will be gone. This might also be hard since you have to click an additional button just to use the companion skill. The second way is by using the PC version. So what makes it different from the mobile version? In the PC version, you can set hotkeys or shortcut keys in other words. You can go to settings and then on the bottom right, you can see and customize your desired hotkeys. 
This is not fully functional yet since it doesn't allow users to select spacebar as a hotkey. As you can see, I selected Q as my hotkey for the companion skill. Now let's go back, and I will let you see that this one is really handy. I will now use the Soul Knight skill of Paladin. As you can see, the companion skill here is gone. But watch when I press Q. The companion skill still works even if you don't see it on your screen. With this, you can safely engage especially if you are a Paladin. This is one of the features that was removed when Rune Mage was released. Paladin classes were greatly affected since this class heavily relies on Soul Knight which is a transformation skill. So that's it guys! I hope that this video helps. If you haven't downloaded yet the PC version of MU Origin 3 Asia, I will put the link where you can download it in the description of this video. As always, if you are new to this channel, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell to keep you updated on my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching! See you in my next video. Lit. Roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party, roll up to the party, roll up, roll up to the party.